Hey everybody, it's Stu Fuchs from Ukulele Zen. I have a very quick follow-up video and lesson for all my friends in Florida who attended my Rockabilly workshops. What we're gonna do is go over Memphis, Tennessee. I wanna send this out with a lot of heart to everybody who came to Tampa Bay Ukulele Society, Tampa Suzuki Strings, The Villages, um, Safety Harbor, and at Penny Lane Music Emporium in Fort Lauderdale, which is an awesome store, by the way. You gotta go to Penny Lane in Fort Lauderdale. It's killer. So I am making this video off the cuff because I am literally out the door to the European tour that I'm doing with Sonatum Car. I will not have a ukulele with me that whole time, but I will do my best to make guitar videos and uh, play some tunes for you. And there's even some ways to teach ukulele with a guitar, so we'll do the best we can with it. But I can't bring a uke because of the weight restrictions and all that jazz. So what I have done is I've shared the tab song sheet and the tablature for the little solo bits for Chuck Berry's Memphis, Tennessee. It's free. It's on my website. Just go to Stu fuchs.com go to the store click on the logo where it says click here and it'll take you to a list of free tabs and goodies they're yours to download share with friends enjoy and learn with so hope you enjoy that now if you have that tablet you'll notice is two things this song only has two chords you got a d7 chord and you can play it in a number of ways you know however you like to play d7 the other chord is a g chord so let's first just go over reading box notation. Now there's two ways you can read a notation in this chart. One is to follow along with the lyrics and changing the chords as they change above the lyrics. The other and better way, I think, is to understand the structure of the song. So you see at the bottom of that page, there's a series of boxes. Every one of those boxes has four beats, and what you want to do is not only feel the beat, one, two, three, four, but see the beat going across the page. You gotta train your eye to see that, and once you can do that, wow, the whole world of music will open up in a big way, and you'll be able to jam with more people, because you'll be able to share chord charts. So let's strum through it. Join in, won't you? One, two, one, two, three. Long distance information, give me Memphis, Tennessee. Try let me find the party, <laughs> trying to get in touch with me. She could not leave her number, but I know who placed the call. Cause my uncle took the message and he wrote it on the wall. So those are the verses. You'll notice that I'm playing a backbeat strum. One, two, three, four. That can be done all down strokes. It can be done down, 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 down. You could even use the rumba or half clave strum that I go over in the Rockabilly book, and that's one. Okay, so this is just a quick video, but so that's how you'd strum through that and have fun singing the song as usual Chuck Berry's sense of not only groove and melody but his way of telling a story is so cool as you listen to this song you'll see it's a nice twist of plot you realize at the end oh he's talking about his daughter isn't that nice so let's go to the second page now and first let's go to the bottom of it you'll notice at the end of the verses I slid up to this shape up here. It's the 10th fret. I'm doing a little hinge bar. And there's an open G string. Okay, and that's a high voicing of G. So what you do is at the end of the verses, you slide up. Now that may be a little challenging at first, so what you do is soften the hand and just allow your hand just to slide over the strings. This could be a really nice warm-up exercise that put you in touch with what it feels like just to slide with a light hand. The thumb soft, the fingers kind of floppy, but still in control. Cause my uncle took the message and he wrote it on the wall. So I tab that out for you and you can check that out at the bottom of page two. 
So now let's go over the lick in sixes. I'm gonna come in real close to show you what I'm doing. What Chuck Berry is doing, if you listen to the original and you'll hear that the lead guitar is doing this. Okay, so that's... And that would fit over the D7 chord. Two, three, four, one. You'll notice at the end of the phrase there's a little notation to slide. You don't have to do that, but if you do, it adds a little extra taste to it. The next group of sixes fits over the G chord. It starts up here at uh, nine and eight. Two, three, four. See that? Now, two tips to make these licks easier. Remember what we talked about in the workshop about the Italian chef, right? You watch what the hand does when it's relaxed, and notice that that is much like that prego, you know, molto bene, che bella. It's that Italian chef uh, posture. And that's really what you want the hand to feel like, the thumbs on the back of the neck. It's okay if it wraps around a little bit. What you want to do is just to not be gripping the neck too much. I like to visualize that there's a little piece of chocolate or a little robin's egg in the palm, and you don't want to squish it. Right? You don't want to melt the chocolate. So keep a little bit of space. That's tip one. The other thing to do is to notice how my fingerings help me to move. See how, how my middle finger stays on the same string? So left hand fingerings can be a great aid to playing this smoothly and with ease. All right, like I said, just a very quick video. Really, I'm so grateful that you're watching this. I'm literally out the door to Europe. I won't have the ukulele with me, but I really appreciate you watching. I'll be making more videos from the road. Thanks so much for your support of this channel. It means so much to me. Hope you'll subscribe to Ukulele Zen, share this video with your friends, and most importantly, I hope that you'll jam on this song, Memphis, Tennessee, play it for someone, and make their day even better. Thanks so much. See you again in the next video. Cheers.